Are you starting the flute or perhaps restarting the flute after a really long break? Well, there are a few things that you need before you start playing. And I say before because doing some of these things wrong can really have severe consequences. It could set you back. It could mean developing really bad habits. And worse, it could be the reason that you stop. Hi everybody, my name is Tatiana and this is The Flute Practice, a space to help motivate and guide you on your flute learning journey. Now if you have already started and you discover that you are making some of these mistakes, don't worry, it is not too late to change it. Let's dive right in. The first thing you will need is a good quality instrument. And hear me right here, I am not saying that you need the latest and greatest solid gold or even silver instrument, but you need a reliable, good quality beginner instrument. I've so commonly seen students that get really, really cheap instruments off Amazon or eBay or secondhand somewhere. And yes, you pay very little for these instruments, but you're going to have huge problems down the line. The worst case scenario is that the instrument doesn't even play. This has actually happened to some of my students. Because you're such a beginner, you don't realize it and you think that you are just really bad. But even if you're lucky and you get an instrument that plays pretty well, the question is for how long? The thing with cheap instruments is they are cheaply made and often very badly made. Have a five minute long conversation with any flute technician and they will tell you that these cheap instruments cut massive corners. And this means that it is very difficult for flute technicians to repair these instruments back to their original working condition. And very often repairing the instrument when it's time is more expensive than buying not only a new instrument of that caliber, but actually then buying a nice, decent instrument in the first place. So you much rather want to spend your money on a decent instrument. While this is possibly going to set you back a few hundred dollars more than you expected, you can get pretty decent instruments for about $500 that will last you, sound good, and take you quite far. Later on, you can always upgrade your instrument to something more fancy, that's not a problem, but don't buy a cheap instrument, it's just not worth it. Some of my favorite beginner flute brands, Yamaha flutes are a real standard in the industry. Trevor James makes some really lovely beginner flutes. Dijao have some very competitive instruments at a really great price. And then there's some other brands that are decent, such as Gemeinhardt, Amadeus, Jupiter. The older the flute is, generally the more volatile the instrument is. And very often with older flutes, especially beginner flutes, you're going to be spending more money overhauling the instrument and getting it back to a playing condition. And you may as well just go ahead and buy a new flute. If you're tight on a budget and you can't afford that yet, why not rent a flute for a while until you figure out whether this is something that you want to stick with and enjoy doing. We have created a Kickstarter flute guide to help you get started on the flute. In that guide, we have listed some specific models and brands of flutes, models that I really recommend to my student and in fact models that I also started on. Click down below, sign up for our mailing list and we will send you this Kickstarter guide for free. Number two is not so much something that you need as it's something that you actually need to do. And that is you need to clearly define your goals and what direction you want to go in with your flute playing. Now I know we don't all have this like grand master plan and know exactly what we want from the instrument. Some of us, we've just had this wonderful dream hidden inside of us and we've always just wanted to learn an instrument or maybe even specifically the flute. But there are some questions you can ask yourself to help guide you in more or less the right direction that you want to go. The first really important question is what style of music do you enjoy listening to and playing? Perhaps you want to go the classical traditional route and really plow everything you have into that. Do you perhaps really enjoy jazz and you want to be playing more jazzy pieces and perhaps eventually learning to improvise? Perhaps you enjoy playing film music or pop music. Perhaps you want to play folk music. Perhaps you want to kind of play a little bit of everything. Either way, knowing more or less what style of music you enjoy and which direction you want to go in with this is going to be very helpful. 
There's no shame in wanting to do any of these different styles. Music is music and all of these styles are perfectly valid and very, very, very beautiful. But figure out what you love. This also doesn't mean that you won't sometimes spend time playing classical studies or classical pieces or jazz pieces or crossover. It just means that you understand what your overall direction might be. The other really important thing to figure out are what are some of your reasons for playing or your goals in playing the flute? Are you starting because you really want to improve your technique and get as proficient on the instrument as possible? Do you perhaps have a specific goal in mind? You want to learn a very specific piece of music down the line or work your way into a specific style of music. Like you want to really be able to improvise. Perhaps your goal is just to have fun and you just want to play for the love of it. You don't really have any interests in making huge strides week on week in your playing. You just want to do this for fun. And this is again really important because if you are a player who really wants to push and go and you're just spending all of your time playing beautiful pieces, you might get frustrated, not see any progress and eventually want to give up. Likewise, if you just want to play for fun and yet you are playing lots of technical exercises and scales and never playing any beautiful music, you are going to get bored, frustrated and also give up. So spend some time answering these questions for yourself. What style of music do you enjoy and where are you going? And this will really help with my next point, which is find a teacher. Now, I know that some of you cannot afford to do this. It's a time investment and it is a money investment. Also, it's quite a scary thing to put yourself out there like that and expose your gentle, fragile dream to another human being. But I can tell you that getting a teacher is one of the best ways to improve quickly, stay motivated in your practice and stay safe. I'm going to explain that in a moment. Live lessons, whether they are online or in person, are really useful to help you improve. Your teacher will pick up bad habits that are forming or things that you are doing wrong and help you improve on it instantly. Of course, there are loads of great online courses and loads of really useful resources out there, but very often students that are self-taught or learning on their own pick up bad habits along the way and don't realize it until it's quite far down the line. It's also a great way to stay accountable to someone. Having to practice for your lesson adds some pressure and means that you kind of have to practice. And this means that you show up to your practice sessions more regularly. The other really big advantage to a teacher is that they can make sure that you are using your bodies in a healthy way, especially a good teacher. We can develop some really bad habits in terms of hand position, in terms of embouchure tension and tightness and body tension in general. And playing the flute is very demanding on your body. Over extended periods of time, practicing with lots of tension, you can actually develop pain and even worse, an injury. And a teacher can really help you to prevent this. Now, what to look out for in a good teacher? Very, very, very good question. We have actually included some tips in our Kickstarter guide, and you guys can go and read up a little bit more about it there. The most important thing to know about a teacher though, is that not every teacher and every student are well suited. And this brings us back to our previous point, where we ask ourselves what style of music and what goals we are working towards. Because different teachers will have different strengths and be able to teach you different things. If you are interested in learning more jazz, of course you're going to want to find a teacher that can teach you that. Likewise, if you're a player that really enjoys technical work, wants to make fast progress and really follow quite a sort of stringent plan, you're going to want to find a teacher who can cater to that. There's no wrong or right here. It's just about finding the right one. There are, however, some not so good teachers out there and you do need to look out for these. A great space to find a teacher is to actually go to Lesson Face. We have partnered up with Lesson Face and by using our promo code down here, you can actually get $15 off your first lesson. They've got loads of different teachers available on the platform. The teachers are reviewed. You can get a sense of their teaching style and what they're all about. They also have a student teacher matching system so that you can find the right teacher for your needs. A quick note on flute courses. Now, there are a lot of beginner flute courses out there. And in our Kickstarter guide, we are linking you to some of those. These are great. However, I don't know that they can fully replace a teacher. That being said, I myself am spending a lot of time developing courses that can help players learn the flute 
safely and effectively. And so it's not that it's wrong or that you shouldn't do it. Just be aware of some of the dangers and snags in doing this on your own. The fourth thing that you will need are good resources. Now, of course, if you find a good teacher, they are going to guide you to great resources. Another real advantage to having a teacher, by the way. But there are these wonderful things in the flute world called flute tutor books. These are books that teach you to play the flute from the very beginning. They walk you through tone production, how to hold the flute, how to learn your first notes, and take you right through to a fairly proficient level. There are lots of different options. And again, in our Kickstarter guide, I have a list of some of the tutor books that I love to use and work with. I also often recommend that students have more than one book as every book has its own distinctive approach and methodology. Like with a teacher, not every book is suitable for every student. However, my absolute favorite book for adult beginners is this book here, A New Tune A Day by Ned Bennett. I discovered this book a few years ago and I really like it because on the one hand, it really takes you step by step through flute playing. It's got some great tunes in it, but it's also got some really nice little technical exercises in between to help improve your technique. Later on, you are going to want to find some other nice resources. And of course, my favorite resource, my good old friend, Tom Play. I love using this with all of my students just because there's so much music on there. It's like buying 10 music books in one go, actually probably way more than that. Like a whole lot of music books in one go. Another really nice collection of books are these graded, Trinity graded books. I have five of them. And they start from grade one, the easiest books, and go all the way up I think they even go to grade six and seven. I've just got up to grade five. Those are really nice graded books and are useful to start from the beginning and work your way through. The last thing that I really recommend you get before you start is an awesome community. Learning alone is fun, it's possible, but learning in a community, learning with others is so much more fun. Community could look like joining a band, joining your local flute choir, joining your local orchestra, it could look like joining a Facebook group. At the Flute Practice, we have the Flute Practice Room, which is filled with lots of flute players from all over the world that are passionate about learning the flute. We've put a link down below. Please answer the questions that we have there. We don't let you in if you do not answer the questions, purely because this group is filled with really dedicated individuals. And we wanna make sure that if you wanna be a part of this group, you are also the right fit and dedicated to the space. There are so many groups on Facebook in the meantime that you can join and be a part of. You have no excuse not to get into an awesome community of flute players. So those are the five things that you need to get started on the flute. Pop in a comment down below where you are currently in your flute journey and which one of these points perhaps you were not doing before. Happy practicing and see you guys next time.